morning. Today we're going to be focusing on contentment because I think that's uh, something really important, especially during this time that's really chaotic and we may feel like we are cut off from certain resources and uh, we may feel, you know, a little weakened by that. Maybe even depressed and like we can't even get out of it. But regardless of anything that's going on in our lives, we can always find a place inside ourselves to be content with the moment and with our lives the way they are. And that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you can't be upset and you can't, you know, be messy some days, but you also deserve to give yourself a little, you know, mental clarity and a little mental peace. You deserve that and you should, you should at least attempt to give that to yourself, especially during this time. So for our centering, we're just going to do my favorite uh, mudra for contentment. And that is connecting the thumb and the middle fingers and just allowing your, the backs of your hands to sit on your knees, sitting in a comfortable seated position. Just allow your belly to be relaxed as you, as you pay attention to your breath. Feel yourself being grounded into your mat, gravity pulling you in, and your shoulders relaxed, your jaw relaxed. And just bringing some awareness to your bodies. Remember, it's always incredibly important to be aware of your mind and your body during your practice, trying your best to be silent in your mind and feeling the energy in your body. Allowing that energy to move, even if it might feel uncomfortable. Just let that energy move throughout your body.
comfortable, go ahead and bring a little movement back to your bodies. Maybe move the torso around a little bit, your hands, your wrists. And we're gonna eventually make our way to laying on our backs. Stretch out long, roll those ankles a little bit, pointing and flexing the toes, just getting some movement in the, in the body this morning. Bend our right knee and bring it into our chest. Again, rolling the ankles if we need to, if we have some really tight calves. Straighten that right leg as much as we can, holding on to the uh, to the thigh if that's comfortable. Just pointing, flexing the toe, feeling that in our calves, being mindful of the tension in our bodies. leg in a little more. Try to bring our nose up a little bit to connect the nose to the knee if possible. Get a deep stretch in that leg. Remembering to use these moments in our warm-up to get in touch with our breath for the rest of our practice. Down to the 
And let's go ahead, bringing our right knee in once more. We're going to connect our left hand with that knee. <clears throat> we're going to pull our leg to the left side so that our hip is coming off the ground a little bit. Let's airplane that right arm straight out, looking over those right fingertips. Do a nice little twist. With relaxed bellies. Slowly come back, bring that right leg down. Let's bring our left knee in. And once again, connecting our right hand with the left knee, we're just bringing it over, bringing that hip off the ground. And straightening that left arm out, looking over the left fingertips. knees into the chest and rock back and forth a little bit to stretch out that lower back. Drop those feet to the mat with our knees still bent. And we're going to try to scooch our heels as close to our butts as possible. And we're going to connect the soles of the feet and let the knees naturally fall out to the sides. Don't put any extra pressure on them or tension. Just let them naturally fall out. And you can raise your arms above your head to open the chest that feels comfortable to you.
let's connect those knees slowly. Move our bodies around a little bit to release any tension. And we're going to slowly make our way to a comfortable seated position. here, connecting your right ear with your right shoulder, and just allowing your head to come forward slowly, stretching out those deep areas of our neck, and eventually connecting that left ear to the left, to the left shoulder. Just go at your own pace, going from shoulder to shoulder. Trying to keep your back as straight as possible as you do this. Just a couple more. And come back to center. here so we're actually going to take our left hand connect it with our right shoulder and we're going to take our right hand and bring it behind us connecting it to the left side of our hip as far as we can and just turning here looking over that right shoulder relaxing our bellies switch to the other side, bringing our right hand to that left shoulder, bringing that left hand all the way to that hip. Exhaling. We're going to go ahead and extend our left leg out, the right knee bent, connecting that foot with the left inner thigh, 
and we're just going to forward fold towards that left foot, grabbing that foot if we can, connecting the nose to the knee as much as possible. switch, bending the left knee, bringing it in, extending the right leg, and pulling towards that right leg, connecting the nose to the knee, with ourselves, but we're going to slowly make our way to our hands and knees. With our hands right under our shoulders and our knees right under our hips. Looking forward, grounded in our hands and our knees. Let's go ahead and lift our right arm, straightening it out, and lift our left leg, straighten it behind us, using our core to stay balanced here. Always breathing. Bring that down, and we're going to switch, lifting the left arm and the right leg, straightening them out. Go ahead and tuck our toes and bring our sitting bones to the sky into downward dog. Reaching the energy of our heels into the mat as much as possible. Really elongating that back. Straight knees as much as possible. Bicycle your feet back and forth a little bit to release any tension in the calves. going to shorten our stance a little bit. We're going to take our right hand and connect it with our left ankle. We'll try to reach those heels in the, ground, in the ground as much as possible and get a good stretch in those legs. side, connecting the left hand with the right ankle. And releasing. 
let's slowly walk our feet to our hands into a forward fold. And if we can reach our hands all the way to the ground, you can go ahead and try to step on your fingertips a little bit to get a deeper stretch. And let's raise those arms forward and up, all the way up. And we can even do a slight back bend here if it's comfortable for our backs. Opening the chest and the shoulders. And come back to center. Shake it out a little bit if you need to. Mm. All right, we're going to do a nice little side stretch. Bring our left arm up. We're going to kind of connect it with that left ear as much as we can. And we're just going to go to that right side, allowing your right hand to slide down your leg. Do not pinch your lower back here, your hip. Just get a nice deep side stretch, looking up if we can. Only doing what's comfortable for our bodies. Slowly coming up, moving that torso around a little bit, and for the other side, lifting that right arm up, connecting it with that right ear, and just sliding that left arm down, reaching over to that left side. Twisting that torso out a little. And we're going to move into my favorite heart opening arm stretch. Just inhale, airplane your arms back, looking up, shining your chest forward. And exhale, bring those hands in, arch the back a little bit, looking down. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and one more time, inhale, and exhale. And for this next pose, we're going to start at the front of our mats with our big toes together and our heels apart. We're going to sweep the hands and bring them up, sitting back into a chair, using our core, arms parallel and reaching up. Let's bring those hands to prayer, down to heart center, 
and let's twist, connecting the left elbow with the right knee. <sighs> Breathing. One more deep breath. And let's inhale back to center. And exhale, twist to the other side, right elbow with left knee. And inhale back to center. Straighten out. And shake it out if you need to. Always listening to our bodies and doing those little stretches that feel good to us and always releasing that tension and allowing the energy to flow. Now we're going to move into Sun Salutation C. And as always, please go at your own pace. Do not feel pressured. Although it's usually supposed to be one breath with each pose. But only do what feels comfortable for you. We're going to start at the front of our mats with our feet stacked right under our hips and our palms facing forward, our crowns reaching towards the sky. Our feet grounded into the mat. We're going to inhale, bring our arms forward and up. Exhale, bring them out and down to forward fold. Inhale, step your right foot back into a lunge, looking forward. Inhale. And exhale, back to downward dog. Let's go ahead and rate. We're gonna go ahead and rock our bodies forward into a plank position, inhale. And exhale down to the ground with your hands right under your shoulders. We're going to inhale up to Cobra. And tuck those toes. Go back to Downward Dog. Bring that right leg up, bending the knee behind, opening the hips. Swing it forward, back into that lunge. Inhaling, and exhale to forward fold. Inhale, arms forward and up once more. Bring those hands to prayer, and exhale to heart center. And bring them all the way down to the sides. Again, at the front of our mat, with our feet right under our hips. <sighs> Inhaling, arms forward and up. Exhale, out and down. Forward fold. Inhale, step that left foot back this time into that lunge, and exhale to downward dog, always strong in our downward dogs, and rocking that body forward into plank, inhale, and lower that body down, exhaling, Hands under shoulders, inhale, bring it up to Cobra. 
And tuck those toes. Use your core and come back to downward dog. Once more, bring that left leg up, bending the knee behind. And swing it forward into a lunge. Inhale. And exhale to forward fold. And inhale, bring those arms floating up. Bring those hands to prayer. And exhale down to heart center. Shaking it out if we need to. We're going to go ahead and move into a one-legged chair. So we will be balancing on one leg. But if that doesn't work well for you, you can always just bring your foot over, your uh, toes over to that other side so that you're still using both of your feet to stay balanced. Do not feel pressured. You can always sit back in normal chair as well. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to bend our left knee. Just kind of raise your right leg up a little bit, just right right above the mat to gain a little balance here. We're going to bring that right foot over so that ankle is connected with the left knee, bringing it across, kind of like pigeon in a way, kind of like the uh, eye of the needle. Bring those hands to prayer, bending that left knee. Again, you can bring your toes to the mat if that's more comfortable for you. Just work on your balance if that's what you're doing today. That's perfectly fine. Using our cores. And let's step our right foot behind about a whole leg's length with our right foot parallel with the short side of the mat, bending the left knee, seeing those toes poking over, airplaning those arms and looking over the left fingertips. Reaching in those fingers. Always strong in our warriors, using our core, using our legs, staying engaged. And let's bring our, let's straighten our left knee and bring our left hand down to either, like, you know, maybe our knee, maybe our ankle and to the floor if we can. We're gonna bring that right arm up. Our arm should be straight like an airplane, looking over those right fingertips. If you need to bend your knee a little bit, please do. Evolve this triangle, bringing our right hand to that left ankle or that inside of the foot. Again, bending the knee if that's more comfortable. Bringing the left arm up, looking over that left fingertips if we can. that left knee once more, back into our warrior two. Let's bring our right hand behind, connecting it with our, with our calf, stretching that left arm over, reaching in our fingertips and looking up if we can, trying to avoid pinching our lower backs, trying to keep that left knee bent.
and coming back up to that warrior. And swinging that right leg forward to be at the front of our mat once more. Maybe rolling the ankles a little bit. Whatever feels good to us. And now for the other side, we're grounding our right foot this time. And once more, we're just going to bend that right knee a little bit and bring those left toes off the ground to gain our balance. And if this is where you are today, you can stay there, no worries. But we can also continue to bend that knee some more, bringing that left ankle over to the right knee. Bringing those hands to prayer at heart center. Using our cores. And swinging that left leg behind us about a whole leg length. Left foot parallel with the short side of the mat. Bringing those arms up to airplane, bending that right knee. Reaching in our fingertips. Engaging our cores and our legs. Revolving this triangle, bringing that left hand to that ankle, knee, or inside the foot, bringing that right arm up, bending that right knee a little bit if we need to. Coming up, again bending our right knee up into our warrior two. And dropping that left hand down, connecting it with that left leg, stretching that right arm over, reaching in the fingertips and looking up, keeping that right knee bent. Back up to warrior two. And swinging that left leg forward to be at the top of the mat. Again, shaking it out. Sun Salutation B. Again, going at our own pace. Starting at the front of our mat, connecting our big toes, leaving the heels apart. We're going to inhale, sweeping the hands, sitting back into a chair. Exhale, the forward fold. 
Inhale, flatten your back for half fold. And exhale, completely fold. And let's step those feet back into a plank position. And slowly lower down a little bit. And then we're going to flip those toes and come up to upward dog. Looking forward, inhale. And tuck those toes, exhale, downward dog. We're going to bring our right foot forward into a nice lunge. Coming up, bring those hands up to be parallel. Inhale. And let's exhale, bring it down to plank. Lowering down a little bit. Once more, inhale to upward dog. And exhale to downward dog. Now let's inhale, stepping our left foot forward into that lunge, bringing those arms up to be parallel. Inhale. And exhaling down to plank. Lowering down. And inhale to upward dog. And exhale to downward dog. Taking a few deep breaths here. And you can step or float the feet forward into a forward fold. Again, connecting those toes. And we're going to inhale, sitting back to our chair. Bring those hands to prayer. Straighten out, bringing that to heart center. Doing those stretches that feel good to us. into our last uh, forward fold and downward dog. We're going to inhale, reaching, bringing those arms forward and up. You can do a slight back bend here if it feels nice. And exhale the forward fold. Step those feet back to a comfortable downward dog. Shortening the stance if it feels more comfortable on our shoulders and our backs. And we're just going to drop those knees down. We can have them apart or together. We're just going to sit back into a comfortable child's pose. Connecting our third eye with the mat and reaching those hands forward. And just really feeling all the energy moving through your body here and being mindful of the way you feel physically.
We're going to eventually make our way back up, sitting back on our heels if we can, or just getting into a comfortable seated position. Just interlace your fingers behind your back, allowing those shoulders to be relaxed. back bend. So please only do it if you're comfortable with back bends. But please, you know, even if you're just tired, feel free to just move your torso around a little bit, move your body around a little bit so that you can comfortably settle into Shavasana. But for those of us who want to do this back bend, let's bend those knees. Stacking those feet right under our knees, kind of. What we're going to be doing is, is pushing through our feet, and we're going to be using our core to bring ourselves up, and using our arms as well to push ourselves into the ground. So let's go ahead, pushing through the feet, bringing the pelvis up as much as we can. You can tuck your chin and you can connect those hands under you, tucking those shoulder blades in to get a deeper expression. legs straight out. You can bring your hands down to the sides with your palms facing up. You can also come back to that mudra we did earlier for contentment, connecting the thumb and the middle finger. You can also bring those hands or that mudra up above to open the heart a little more. Whatever's comfortable for you.
Just feeling the energy moving through our bodies. Being mindful. Try your best to allow any intrusive thoughts to leave your mind. And just try to be content in this moment. Even if you have a hard time being content the rest of the day, please bless yourself with this moment and allow yourself to relax and be content. Appreciating the silence, or maybe the wind in the trees, or the beautiful sun shining down. Just being here together in this moment and being content. As always, I invite you to try to stay in Shavasana for a little bit longer than usual. A little bit longer than me. Even for five more minutes. Even try ten more minutes, maybe even fifteen. Challenge yourself a little bit. This has been an awesome practice. I feel amazing. I hope everybody else feels awesome as well. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope everyone has a beautiful day. And namaste.